Hello comrades and welcome to another update on the Crescent Counteroffensive. We begin in the south where the armed forces of Ukraine has begun a build up of a strike force at the highway going directly to Kherson from uh, Pokrovsk, Posad Pokrovsky section, uh, this village here. And it includes units of the 28th and 59th Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, reinforcing the 24th Brigade. So the 24th and 28th are mechanized brigades, and they are heavily equipped with tanks and heavy fighting vehicles. So generally they are very well equipped. And then there's the uh, 59th, which is a motorized brigade, so it is less equipped, but still well equipped compared to the normal Ukrainian ground forces. So generally they are building up a heavy force, which is why I added a big arrow compared to the smaller arrow before. And generally this is very interesting. And then in return of that, the Russian units of the 7th Airborne Division and 20th Motorized Rifle Division are firing artillery at the reinforcements of the armed forces of Ukraine. So the 20th Motorized Rifle Division of the Russian forces include multiple uh, battalion tactical groups, meaning that generally they have a couple dozen of tanks as well as a lot of artillery and multi-launch rocket systems. Generally they should be able to uh, inflict heavy casualties on the Ukrainians before they initiate their offensive. However, there are three brigades in this area, meaning that generally the offensive will be very tough regardless. Further up north, uh, there's been a lot of shelling here, continuous shelling, as well as in Shihurivka, uh, where important areas have been shelled, uh, including outposts and so on. In the center, the fighting continues and the Russians have managed to push the Ukrainians to Suchistavak and to Lusove, where the front line is being fought at, and they are also engaging at Blahudativka where they have actually destroyed the pontoon bridge here in the center, where Riba reports one of the crossings over the Ingolets have been destroyed and the armed forces of Ukraine continue to transfer individual pieces of equipment along a narrow corridor. So considering they mentioned this narrow corridor, that means this area right here. So generally, uh, this is the pontoon bridge that has been destroyed and this is the one that they're using. So my uh, guess is that when the Russians decided to uh, cross the river using their own pontoon bridge and attack Chernivka, it was bait for the Ukrainians to make use of this pontoon bridge as they destroyed the Ukrainian crossing bridge over here, forcing them to advance on this narrow corridor, allowing the Russians to uh, shell them and attack them as they try to pass through to the salient. But generally, there's a lot of heavy casualties from the start to the end of the movement. Finally, in the north, there's more details around the counterattacks. Uh, the Ukrainian journalist Anatoly Sheri, so that everyone doesn't complain that I don't use multiple sources, uh, they took the highlands. The highlands have been surrendered. So the highlands around the uh, village here to the south have been taken by the Russians, and they're also pushing towards. Otomkina, uh, which is here in the east, and in the west, the uh, Olkinsky sector. This is where the Ukrainians are actually pushing back the Russians uh, with the combined arms use of the Bayraktar TB2 UAVs, and they're trying to uh, attack the Russian forces defending the village. So generally, that's the situation on the Kherson front line. And that's it for this update. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Comrades, my viewership has significantly increased the past few days, and I'm really thankful for that. However, 75% of the ones watching my videos are still not subscribed. Comrades, we are in this together. So if you want me to continue with the posting, subscription is a must. It is free, and you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Thank you very much for watching and see you all next time.